Attention! Right. Ladies, I've got a problem here. I've got a very serious problem here. This pandemic, this lockdown situation, has put a threat to date night. We can't get dressed. We have nowhere to go. What are we gonna do? Well, listen here. Hey, 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 get off your phone, Wena. Hey, when? I'm telling you how to keep your man. Listen, you better pay attention to me. Don't slouch, don't slouch. Don't pay on your phone. All right. Starting this Thursday, we're taking control. Date night is ours, ladies. Date night is ours. Every Thursday, I will give you an instruction. An instruction. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And every single Thursday, you have to complete the task. It is your mission to complete this task. With vigor, with focus, you will complete this task. Your man will not know what hit him. Every Thursday in the morning, just tell him, hey, pa Papa, Bona, just talk to your PP, tell him to be ready. Because that's what needs to happen. Oh, that PP is not ready. They need to have a man-to-man -man conversation every morning just to be like, listen, listen, my dog. We don't know what the man has got planned, right? So I need you to work with me. I'll try my best not to get tired. You just need to come to the party, okay? That's what needs to happen. Your man must just be sitting there, waiting, knowing that something will happen. Because every Thursday, i got a plan for you. Ladies, do you hear me? Sir, yes, sir! I said, do you hear me? Sir, yes, sir! That's yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we hear you. That's what I want. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can use it as advice. Use it, don't use it, take it, don't take it. It is completely up to you. Now, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited. I need to calm down because I'm just like, light bulb moment. Look, for some of us, Thursday was date night, okay? It used to be the night where we were just like, what are we going to do today, babe? Let's go out, let's do a movie, let's do something. And then the global pandemic happened. And then sometimes, you know, baby, so we can't go out anymore. And even for other couples, there's just that thing that we can't go out. We have our kids, it's busy, we're tired, and you just haven't done the date night thing ever. And date nights have been proven to actually help relationships. So, I've come up with this thing, and I don't know how long it will last, I don't know if it will be one week. I don't know if it will be a year. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's called the date night challenge. All right. So every single Thursday, it's date night. So me and you, Chomi, I can and my friend. If there's any men watching, don't watch. You're spoiling it for yourself. Just tell your wife to watch. Just go run. Go tell your girl to watch. And then you'll be happy. Don't watch. As a man, don't watch. Go, go, go call your wife. Forward this. Share this video with her. Don't do this to yourself. This is for you, brothers. All right, I've given you a chance. All right, so since it's just me and you, my friend, what the plan is, is that every Thursday, I'll give you a challenge, right? That has to do with you taking control for the night, getting done and dirty with your man. All right, and it is up to you between Thursday and Sunday to complete the challenge. The challenge will only take 15 minutes to an hour, depending, ne? depending on your situations and depending on how well your man has spoken to his pee, -pee. And you have to complete the challenge and let me know if you have. On my Instagram, at Kapanishimange, look for me and tag, hashtag, date night challenge and send me a tick just to let me know that we did it. That's it. Picture of yourself, picture of whatever you want to send. Just give me a tick just to say date night challenge 
one complete i just need to know that your mission has been complete what the missions will be we will uncover every single week i am so excited all right let me calm down so if you have any questions that you want to send to me head over to my instagram at kapana and go to my instagram highlights look for this picture right here reply and let me know what questions or scenarios you want me to deal with next but it's a date night so let's get into this date night challenge i'm just excited i need to calm down i need to Woo. have i ever been this excited for a video like it's crazy so here's the thing since we are going to be taking the lead in the date night challenge like i said we don't know if it's just going to be one week 12 weeks or a full year but since we're going to be taking control i need to equip you with the right tools and the resources to be able to take over in the bedroom right so i'm going to give you eight tools and tips to turn your man on all right just to get the engine started because sometimes he's just like i don't know what's happening i'm not in the mood but there's certain things that you can do to get his engine started because if I'm, going, if I'm going to challenge you every thursday to do something with your man you need to bring him to the party and sometimes he's actually not in the mood but here are eight things that you can do to turn him on so that when we do start the date night challenge right and i give you a task to do that week you know that i will use method eight to get the engine started and then i will complete my mission ah! okay let's get started so as you know i'm going to go from one to eight and i'm going to start with the nice easy subtle ways to turn him on and then they're just going to get more heated and more heated as we go method number one to turn your man on is to disrupt the pattern just change things up so you guys are there you're just watching tv and then you just ask for the remote and then boom, switch it off and he'll be like how what's happening that's what it's called to disrupt the pattern whatever is happening you want to just cut it in the middle just done if the radio is on switch off the radio if he's eating take his food i don't know some of your men may just find that extremely offensive but if you're wearing the right panties you can take any food you, you want he'll let you take his food you'll be like this is not the right food i am the right food right take his food another one or you can just ding, ding, send him a naughty picture let's wait just on a picture just a boob just take a picture boob send it to him he'll be like how what's going on the point is to disrupt everything to break the pattern whatever is happening you just want to break it short circuit break the situation if it means that you need to just stand up and scream do it as long as you can get his attention and get him to break whatever mental pattern is currently happening in his mind the point is to disrupt if you are in a relaxed mood disrupted by a lot of energy if you guys are just zoned into binge watching switch off the tv if you guys are just eating and it's very boring and it's like ah, i want you to do me on this table take his food so disrupting the pattern allows you to reset so whatever is going on in his mind whatever mood there is when you disrupt the pattern you can reset to help something else happen and in this case because of our challenge it is because we are in charge now when we disrupt the pattern number two take off your underwear just right now just trouble up and just be like and just bend there it is it's gone it's off what are you going to do about it take off your underwear it's just a sign just to say oh, get ready i'm ready when huh if you've got pants off take off the pants and the bendy take off the bendy now it's just like all right so it's on now as soon as all the children are, are, are asleep just that's my panty just throw it in just like baby that's my panty now he has to do something about it you can't just take off a panty and then nothing comes out of it it may be your signal between the two of you just to say hey i've got a panty in my hand eh. yeah you know when you take off the panty it's just a sign to say wow this woman is serious she really i need to do something about this one method number three to turn your man on is to go get dressed or get undressed so you can go in the middle of the day or in the morning you know go decide to go put on your lingerie and now you are dressed for action that's getting dressed or in the middle of the night you guys are watching tv get undressed just be like this chilling on top of the couch no clothes on he has to do something about it now it's just like okay sharp as you can see all of these things are just like all right we've disrupted the pattern surely after you've done this thing it's just like 
so there's a plan here yeah there's something i have to yeah man it's time <laughs> he knows what the deal is a lot of these are just about getting him into knowing that abu it's about to go down number four send him a meeting request <laughs> i know some of you are like meeting request yes a meeting request literally on your phone in the morning especially since we're going to be doing this challenge he may need to actually know that he needs to mentally prepare himself for the situation you don't want to put him under so much pressure that his people is just like i can't do it i can't perform leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. you want to cause stress that that guy also has his own mentality and he's thinking to himself i can't this woman is stressing me one stressor hey so in the morning send him a meeting request that you send him at seven ne, in the morning and then you tell him Ka nine the meeting request is for nine and the meeting request is date night come naked location you can decide on the location i like meeting requests because it's just like you know you build this anticipation for the day and then he has to rsvp and you tell him hi love did you get my meeting request just rsvp okay so now he knows you know what's about to go down i like meeting requests they're cute but at the same time they're so forward and and you know we need to get out of the mindset that always it has to be very subtle and it has to be very you know we have to take the back seat in terms of our relationship and our sexual fulfillment especially in marriage take the lead he will be so happy about it. it it will just awaken a new side of your marriage if you take the lead and you initiate that doesn't mean that he now becomes your dog it just means that you plant the seed sometimes you take control in those situations and other times he will be able to take control in those situations as well this is one that many people really love and that is to rub rub right touch him in the right places start hey my love and remember eye contact is a very important one for this one right so sit next to your man rub his chest because if he's got you know chest hairs pull in a chest hang yana move your way down and then the motion of the ocean needs to be direct this way but when here you can play around in whatever direction you get but as soon as you get here by the chest the arm needs to just hit an a line <laughs> down to the right direction okay so this is one that's more subtle you guys don't have to get undressed there's no disrupting of the pattern it's an easing of the motions right it's just easing him into it First, it's just moving close to him, and then it's just a touch, and then the touches continue. The hand, the hand just keeps exploring, goes to the back and gives him a nice little, you know, caress, and then it moves, braise the bum, down the hip bone, into the sections that make sense. It's one that is, it's, it's subtle, but the eye contact needs to say the right things, right? You need to time your eye contact so it's just like, I'm rubbing, I'm touching, you know. And the thing is, it starts to raise the heat. Sometimes, if you touch right, if you take your time in this touching procedure, you start here, you just move your way, you do the chest, you do the back, you do the hip bone, down the V. By the time you get to the sections that make sense, I think things will already be on. He's already just, whoops, it's there already. You know what I mean? So, touching is a nice, light way of doing it. So that by the time it's, it's time for action, you've already massaged the situation. Number six is to kiss and tell. For us, me, I like this one. There's a mm, love you, baby, and a mm, good morning, and a mm, good night. But then there's a, and then you know that I, this is not good night. This is hello. There's a kiss. There's a, there's different levels of kissing. There's just the peck. There's just a. I love you. Mm. That's an innocent. Mm. I love you. And then there's a. I want more. Differentiate between your kisses, and then give him the I want more kiss. Those ones are nice. But if it's not lending, because you know sometimes you know sometimes you might give him the I want more kiss, and then he's just like I am not in the mood. Then draw back, ne? And start at square A. You saw. I want more. You saw. Toma more, ne? Toma more. Start here. And just move, move your way. Now just, mm, mm, mm. and then you look at him. Mm, mm, mm. And you can combine this one with step five. 
kissing and touching or you can combine it with telling him you know the sweet nothings in his ear you know what i mean sometimes you can even start the kisses from the forehead start a kiss on the cheek move your way to the places the kisses will tell i call it my thousand kisses i like to give a man a thousand kisses i don't even know if i reach a thousand kisses but i give him a lot a lot a lot a lot of kisses and eventually the kiss lands at the right place and then we can get started number seven we're getting more aggressive here we're getting into it and we're just like hey when bent that's all i want take off your clothes let's do this it is just being assertive taking a man's hand and saying we're going that's it just we're going take his hand and tell him stand up let's do this and be like my baby i want let's go don't you want i want i want to give to you don't you want yes you know just telling him you could be sitting that side of the couch and he's sitting that side of the couch and then you just look at him and say Munaka, let's do this you know i need some loving the pipes need to be cleared the situation needs to be laid there's a situation that needs your attention you know i think i found a snake in the bed let's just go see whatever it is it's about being assertive and just telling it like it is doesn't mean you have to be aggressive but sometimes you manage to like hey when da, 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 da. bring come come some men like that so you can try whatever it is but it's about taking being assertive and just putting it straight and saying hey men i want sex let's go and number eight is for hey my sergeants the ones who are stressed about the game the one who are just comfortable with their sexuality so much that they can do this a friend of mine told me this and i was like yo 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 staring hi you are the hardest you are the g you are just goat hey the greatest of all time you have the greatest to do it number eight is to start touching yourself not here not here but there i'm just like wow i'm not even there yet ne? but i know it's in my arsenal that if he doesn't want to do anything you're just like all right so you don't want to do anything slip your hand down there and start to rub on the right parts feel up on the things that make you feel good he will definitely be like but why am i missing out why am i doing this to myself why would i not want to join the party i mean there's the party why am i not inside the party that's how it works listen this is literally for me mind blown i'm just like you do that i want to do that i literally need to just gain the courage to just be that girl to be like oh you don't want me now ne? give me two minutes begin touch feel feel good hey i i respect some people hey it's a it's a method it's a method but definitely number eight Woo! on the scale to too hot from zero to too hot it is too hot hey it is the sun it is within the heat of the moment and my bonus you didn't see this one coming there you didn't i know you didn't but this one is so good my husband actually came up with this idea and that is the sex coupon now i've heard about this before haven't been using it but i like it i really really like it so basically what it is it's either printed or on your phone this is mine and on the sex coupon you get to say what it is that you want you can either say position or place so you can say tonight let's try this or let's try being together at this time of the night or let's try a new location in the bedroom or in the house these coupons work in that you just pull it out and you give it to him you can say it that yo i'm using one of my coupons tonight can we do it cool or it's a picture that you send to him and then he knows that all right he's going down she's pulling out her coupon so how we have it is that he's got five for the week and i have my five as well that means that if we do it 10 times in the week it's fine but we sometimes may not use them at all it is completely up to you so bring up this sex coupon thing with your husband look this is a challenge but maybe you want to get him on board and to get him excited as well talk to your man and say that you know what i really want to try this i just want to take charge i want to bring date night back but let me take the lead for you all right my man me i got you me i got you and yeah me i got you so create your own coupon or you can go over to my instagram at kapanashimange look at my instagram highlights and snap a picture of it and you can use it yourself send it to your man 
you can either request a time a place or a position that day it has a 24 hour expiry so once you pull it out 24 hours cannot pass without you having done the deed okay i am so excited about this challenge i cannot even hold myself back we are all in this together we're going to try and make this work now you have a full week to complete the challenge every single week and every thursday morning i'll be here premiering a new video 7 30 south african time to let you know what the week's mission is so now this week let me give you the details and what you need to do to assemble your weapons of bedroom destruction your mission should you choose to accept it is to use one of these eight ways to get down with your man to get him into the sheets to knock boots to make the things go down once you have completed the mission go to instagram post a blank picture tag me at kopaneshimange and have the following details the date when the mission was complete hashtag date night challenge and a tick to show that the mission has been complete i am your sergeant kopaneshimange this is how i do things this message will self-destruct in five four three two one 